YouTube, Scary Bear coming at you here. I just want to give you kind of an intro on this video you're getting ready to watch. Um, what had happened is I got a hold of Chris at Southern Skies, and he said that it seemed like the motor was running a little bit rich. So he suggested I put in a 155 jet in the carburetor, take out the 160 and put in a 155, which I did. And what you're about to see is a couple takeoffs, couple landings. Um, I took off with the 155, seemed to have more power, um, but it was spitting and sputtering quite a bit. So barely made her back to land, changed that, that jet back into the 160, took off again, and buddy, I'm telling you, it was terrible. Almost didn't make it back to my landing zone. So, but you guys have been awesome. You've sent in some some amazing suggestions that I have been trying little little by little and I've kind of put together a little video which is going to be coming out after this one of some of the things I've been trying but as of right now she's still not running the fresh breeze monster has been a monster it's just not uh, it's not a friendly monster either so but uh, give me a thumbs up thumbs down uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to follow uh, some of my uh, not always so happy journeys with the fresh breeze here and um, but but we'll we'll jump into the video here. Give it a watch. Uh, shoot me some comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Till later, Scary Barry out. Break is clear. Break is clear. Grab them A's. Give it a little help. like uh it was one to hang behind maybe i had maybe i had some break on it didn't realize it i changed the uh i changed the jet in it i changed the jet inside of it i uh, went to a 155 instead of a 160. uh seems to have a little more climb I think uh, I was talking to Chris at, uh, oh my gosh, Southern Skies down there, and he was telling me that it sounded like it was running rich as well. So I got rid of the 160 pill, or pill, <laughs> the 160, uh, oh my gosh, man, I got like 50 things going on right now. All right, let's get back into flying. I got rid of the 160 jet, decided to put in the 155 jet. I uh, seem to be getting a little bit uh, more RPM. My climb rate seems to be a lot higher. Altitude 256. Got a couple bumps up here. Nothing super bad. Man, it's just the right temperature. Everything, man, tonight. I'm gonna turn around here. I'm gonna go to the left. Come back around a little bit. See if we can get some of that sun setting. Wow, but you look at that sunset. That is just gorgeous. All right, 
Yeah, let's, let's close her down a little, about 550 feet. Estimated altitude. The engine's acting a little funny. The engine's wanting to sputter just a bit. And I put that 155 jet in there. I've definitely got high RPMs now. I also put a new spark plug in just because they're cheap. Right, they're cheap, and uh, just in case. But uh, now it seems like it's the engine wants to sputter. It doesn't want to run smooth. Uh, so it's like the 160 jet uh, made the spark plug brown or like almost black. So it was almost. Uh, gosh, man, I mean. It sure looked like it was flooding out the engine, like it was running rich. But now this 155 acts like she's running lean, not getting enough fuel. So I'm going to take it back to the house, and I'm going to land it. I know it's funny early yet, but I might change that, that jet out. Go ahead and put her back up in the air. See if that makes it run better, because right now it's just stuttering. It's just stalling. Boy, that engine's just running terrible. I'm getting nervous now. But I'm trying the 155 jet because uh, it was suggested to me. But I don't remember having the stutter problem with the 160. So I'm going to land real quick, put in the 160. I may still have enough time to get back up in there and give it a run. But I'm going to start losing some attitude so I can bring it in for a landing. A uh, very short flight. Uh, but like I said, she's just not she's just not running right. So no sense taking a chance to have to land out. All right, let's bring it in. Idling nice. Idling really well. All right, let's do it and cut the power. All right, let's get that new jet put in here and see if I still got enough time to get in the air. Because that thing is running like crap. I got, the, I, got the, I got the new jet in there. So let's see if we can't hop up in there real quick while we still have daylight. And uh, see if the 160 jet going back in instead of that 155 helps the situation at all. Yeah, 
I don't know what's happening. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to sign off for now, and I'm going to check this out in the garage. I'll catch up to you um, once we get up there. So, right, okay, I landed. I'm looking over the machine a little bit here. Uh, landed for the second time tonight. Um, I am getting good at my takeoff and landings, though. It's good practice for that, right? So let's keep a positive spin on it. And I do notice, see, it's still leaking. I'm going to show you here how bad it's still leaking on the, on the back of here. Hopefully you can see that. All over the, the prop. But, yeah, I mean, I, I don't get it. Uh, I flew it the other morning, went up in the air, flew it around, seemed to run just fine. There was no issues. Um, I had a suggestion from Chris that it was running rich and maybe to change that uh, jet out from the 160 down to the 155. Um, so I did that, took off today, and it just started sputtering and kicking and spitting, and it, I, I limped it back here to the house and landed it. Changed it out to the 155, or from the 155 back to the 160, which is the exact same one I had in the other day when it was running okay. And I barely could get off the ground and get spun around and come back and land, but it is I what it is. A, a mail email the other day from another guy who just bought a fresh breeze and he's having the exact same issues so I'm gonna try to keep him in the loop and let him know what's going on and hopefully we can help each other out he's he just bought his literally two weeks ago and uh, having the same issues I'm having so hopefully I can get him fixed and it won't take two years to do so but uh, hey if, if my troubles help him out then 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 there was a reason for it right so anyway I'll catch you next time and um, I'll, I'll, I'll keep trying, right? I'm not going to give up flying. I'm not going to give it up. So hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of these videos and uh, my trials and tribulations with the fresh breeze. And hopefully when, I, when, I'm a, when I'm a victory, when I victor, when I'm a victor and I have victory and, and uh, get this thing flying in the air. Anyway, I'm an idiot. So um, yeah, I appreciate you watching. Hit the subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Give me a, give me a comment or two. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'll catch you next time I'm in the air. Talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Thank <laughs> you.